and girls, today we are going to talk about sorting objects or matter based on their physical properties. So what I've done is I have gathered 10 items from around my house. So you can see I have a balloon here, I have a tins rod, I have a roll of tape, a piece from Candyland, I've got a little chapstick, um, an orange marker that I found, I have a huge bubble wand right there, I have a trophy, and then I have a little hole punch, and I have a book that I have here, one of my favorite books. Okay, so I've gathered my 10 items, and what I'm also going to need for this little um, activity is a chart, okay? You can make this chart on a piece of paper or in a journal that you can use for your science journal because we will be making more charts like this. So you can group them all in one journal if you would like to. So what you're going to do on your chart is you're going to make two columns. One column is where you're going to write down how you sorted objects. The other column is where you're gonna write down what you notice after you sort the objects. So, and I've already decided, the first way I wanna sort my objects is by color. I want to group colors that are the same. You can decide how you want to sort your objects first. It could be by color, it could be by size, it could be by weight. It could be by how it feels, the texture. You can decide how you want to sort your objects, but I think I'm gonna to try to sort mine by color. You can follow along with me and sort yours by color too. That is a-okay. Right, now that I have all my 10 objects and I know that I'm sorting by color, I'm going to group my objects of the same color. I'm gonna group them together. I'm going to start sorting these objects, right? Let's see what colors I notice first. Well, the first thing I notice is that this trophy and my hole punch, they're mostly black. At least the bottom part is black. So I think that I'm gonna sort those two objects together because they kind of remind me of each other when it comes to color. I also, and this is kind of a different way, but they kind of have a metallic color that goes along with them too. The trophy has gold and then the hole punch has um, silver. So those kind of go together like that also. All right now let's look for a different colors that I could sort together. Well, I see my roll of tape is red, and then my little Candyland piece is red, so I'm gonna sort those together. Let's see, what other colors do I see that's similar? Um, I see that both the balloon and the tins rod are green, so I'm gonna make those items in a group. And then these items look similar in color to me too. They both have orange and white, so I think I'm gonna sort those together and make them a group. Um, and then I have yellow, my yellow bubble wand. Hmm, I think that I'm gonna make my yellow bubble wand its own group because it doesn't really fit in with the orange, it doesn't fit in with the red, it really doesn't fit in with the black or the green. So I'm gonna make it its own group. Now let's look at my book. Well, my book has a bunch of different colors in it, but what I notice the most is that black color. So I think I'm gonna put it over here with my items that are black, or maybe I could just make this its own group because it has multicolors. It has more than one, but it doesn't really fit with any of these other groups. So you know what, I think I'm gonna make it its own group, right? Now that I have all of my items sorted into their color groups, I'm gonna think, what do I notice about these groups? So let me just think for a minute, what are some things I notice about these groups? I noticed that my groups are pretty small. I only have one or two objects in each group. And that's kind of surprising to me because I like color. So it's kind of strange that I don't have more objects of the same color. So I'm gonna just write that down on what I noticed. I think I'm just gonna write um, my groups were and then I'm also going to say one or two items in each group. Okay, what else can I notice about the color of these objects? I think I'm going to write down that I had one, one object that was multicolored, so it had more than one color, just because I thought that was interesting. So I'm going to say one item was multi-colored. And then something I just thought of too that was interesting was the way I could sort my trophy and my hole punch. They had black 
and a metallic color. And I thought that that was pretty interesting. So I'm gonna say um, my trophy and hole punch had two similar colors. Okay, so those were just some things that I noticed about my 10 objects that I gathered from around my house. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick 10 items from around your house and you're going to think of a way to sort them. On your chart, in your science journal or on a piece of paper, you're going to tell me how you sorted them and then what you noticed after you sorted them. Okay, and remember, you could do color like I did or you could sort your, your items in any other way that you can think of, right? I hope that you have fun sorting and make sure to add to your chart because this will be part of your formative assessment where I see the different ways you sorted and what you noticed about the ways you sorted. All right, I hope you guys have fun.